Hey guys, this is Ian from the Apple Power Web Show, and this is a tutorial on how to make a background or banner for your website, iPhone, iPod Touch, or computer. So I'm going to walk you through on how to make each of these elements of a of this banner. I'm not going to make it exactly exact to this. Uh, I'm going to make it a lot different, but these are just some elements to it. So I'll teach you how to make the 3D text, a reflection, the light painting. Um, how to add this um, lens flare, and then I could have sworn I put in a uh, gradient. I'll I'll put that in too, but uh, maybe that I guess that didn't show up because the background's black. But whatever. So I'll zoom out again, and then I will make a new file. So just new back. One, two, three, whatever. Uh, this is my monitor resolution, so I did that in pixels. Depending on what you want to do, you can change that. 300 resolution, uh, I generally like that. RGB color, I do 8 bits so I can have a lot of layers. And there you go. And I made it have a transparent background, it doesn't matter what color it is, because this next step will show you why. So I'm going to paint the background black, just because it turns out really well on my monitor with the light painting and reflections. So there we go, there's the first layer. Now we're going to make a new layer. Doesn't matter. There we go. And we're going to hide the um, black layer by just hitting or pressing this I. And we're going to create some text. So before I do that, I'm going to bring that out and close this and just make this really big. There we go. So paint all that one here. There we go. I'll make that this blue color. Um, so now I can just click out. And as I'm in this layer, to copy one, I can just hit Shift and Alt or Shift and Option if you're on a Mac. Doesn't matter. Um, so Shift Alt, then I'll hit Down. And it just copies it down. You can do this a lot. Okay, so I have one copied, so now you can see I have two of these. So first we're going to make a 3D. So I'm going to make, so I go back to this text, click on this one, highlight it, and I'm going to make this white. There we go. So now I can turn the black on just to make this easier to see. So I'm thinking about doing maybe something like that, or actually I like the blue in the front. So I'll put this exactly right there. This one. Oh. So I'm just gonna bring this forward. Like that. So you can do it like that. Or I'm gonna do it like that. Oops. There you go. So that's how I'm going to have it. So I'm going to uh, group these two together so I can move them together. I need to put that back there. Go. So while you do is you come over to your layers, then you hold down the shift key and hit this one. Now they're highlighted, and you do layer. New, ah. layer new, group from layers. Uh, there we go. So now, okay, so now I'm on this. I can't move it. My layers are selected. There we go. So, there we go. So now I can move it around however I want. I'm going to put this somewhere in the middle. There we go. Um, so there's that, and now we're going to make the reflection. So, so duplicate group, text copy, and there we go. So you don't see anything yet, but you just bring this down, 
Okay, so now that we have our second group, we can open it up and go to each of these separately. So just choose the top one, that's what I start with. Your style, gradient overlay. Um, choose foreground to transparent. Just click this little tab, double click it, change it to black or whatever color your background is. And say OK. Then go to the bottom one and repeat that last step. So gradient overlay. I have that chosen ready. And OK. So I'm going to bring the fill of each of them down to about 80%. There we go, 80%. I can close up the group and change the opacity. And that way, um, okay, maybe we should bring, I'm going to bring up the fill to about 8 maybe. On each of them. Yep. So that looks pretty good. Um, now I'm not going to mess around with it to make it look perfect on the video, but this is just a general idea of what you want. We just do transform, then edit, transform, flip vertical. And there you go. That's one. Okay. I meant to do that to the whole group, so select that group, then transform, flip vertical. There you go. So now you just bring it up. There we go, that makes it look like a real reflection right there. So, okay, so now we are going to add the, the, um, okay, just make sure I was recording. Um, just making, adding the light drawing. So we are going to create a new layer. New layer. Layer 2. Okay, um, I'm just going to hide everything right now. Actually, except the text. Um, so just hiding the background, the black layer pretty much, and